All right, so we have a ginormous daddy long leg spider in our house, and guess where we found it? It crawled on Isaac! All right, it's another day in J House land. We're off to an okay start. We got our chores and stuff done this morning, and now we're going to dig into some history and Miss Laura. I just every day try to get her out something that's kind of different to play with so that we can kind of focus for a few minutes and get our history reading done, and then she joins us for our history activity. So here's what she's playing with today. These magnet dolls. Oh, very nice, Miss Laura. What are you guys whispering about? You, you's pretending to be Batman. Oh. I am real Batman. Ugh. Yeah, you are real Batman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to show how strong you are? <laughs> Jump, Batman. Mom, look at Halloween stuff. Yeah, you see Halloween stuff? Well, I am. Why is there Halloween? I think they're getting ready. I think it's time for us to think about getting ready for Halloween. Uh, it's, it's my time to think about ballerina tutu. You want to do a ballerina tutu? Yeah. Hey, sit down, sit down. We could dress up like our book. Like some of us could be the grandmas and grandpas. And Which book is it? Daddy could be Willy Wonka. Oh, that would be I fun. Can be Willy Wonka. You're going to be Willy Wonka? And Dad can be the guy that bullied um. Isaac. Isaac, what do you want to be for Halloween? A Chiefs player, my favorite player, Tyrak Hill. Very I might cool. want to be a ballerina instead. Huh? I know what I want to be. I want to be Darth Vader. That costume fits me just right. Yeah, you think that would be fun? And we need to get a helmet for me. That would be what we would need. It's true. All right, so in history right now, we're learning about how the early people kept records, like how they wrote. They wrote on stone tablets and clay tablets, and today we read about how they learned how to make paper. And so the kids and I were talking about, and they're like, how do you make paper? And I was like, let's do it. And so anyway, we're gonna make paper today, but I was missing one thing that we needed, so I decided to brave running out to Lowe's this morning, and I found what we need, which is this little screen and so we're gonna go home and make paper and I'm so excited and the kids are cooperating and this is gonna be fun. All right, well we are making paper. We're tearing tissue paper and some toilet paper and their little paint samples and a couple pieces of copy paper up and putting it into that bucket. That's step one. We're gonna need smaller pieces, guys. I'm gonna get small pieces. You put them in little pieces? Good job, big girl. All right, we're almost done. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> now we need to make a pulp. What do you think we need to add to make pulp? Glue. Glue would make it interesting. Water. Oh, water. Do you remember what did the Egyptians make their paper out of? Reeds. Reeds. And what did they have to do to the reeds? Soak it in the water. Yep, to make it what? Wet. Soft. Soft. So we are going to take this and soak it in water. Can you pour the water in? Oh! <laughs> we gotta turn it into mush. Hey Laura, hand it to Caleb. Good job. Now here comes the chef. What you making there, chef? Mush. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat that for lunch. Well, you have to because the chef is making that. It's the only thing on the list. All right, this is the last round of stirring, and then we're going to dig our hands into it. <gasps> All right, mush it up. Laura, you can help. Put your hands in there. <laughs> we decided to take this wet party outside. Mush. All right, so it's pretty mushy. How do you think we could get even mushier? Ah! How could we do that? Get like um one of the straws and go. Yeah, get our potato masher. Oh. It's farting. That didn't <laughs> There you go. You got it, dude. 
trying to get some of the liquid out. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> I was joking, I was joking. Lisa's turn. What you're gonna do, you're gonna push on it. Can you push on it? Oh. We're gonna try to spread it out. Well, we just watched a couple YouTube videos about how paper is made and it made me realize that I don't think we used enough water. And so I'm gonna try, I got this one like extra juicy and I'm gonna pour it on this screen and we'll see how that one turns out. But it was really cool, like the kids were so excited when we were watching the video. They're like, we did that, like that was this. And so, Jeremy, we'll put the links to the videos that we watched about how paper is made in the description box below in case you're curious. So also in the video, they like cooked the mush of paper and water or you know wood grains and water so this is definitely imperfect paper but it was fun to see and experience the process hands-on all right so we have a ginormous daddy long leg spider in our house and guess where we found it it crawled on isaac it was on you isaac yeah it was on his body it I came had to... down and it was it's climbing yeah. up hurry dad hurry Get it, get it, get it. And it bit me. You think it bit you? Do you see where it bit you? Get it. If it did bit me, right here. Ah! Is it in there? It's in there. It's in there. Dad, show me it. Okay, come here. You want to see it? Catch and release. Open the door for me. Do you guys want to come out just to see it go away? You wanna see, Laura? We're gonna let it go, okay? Okay, yeah, here we go. There, there it, it goes. Is. We'll let it go back to be with its family. It's okay, Laura. It's okay, it's gonna go. like people. That's a big spider. It is a big spider, isn't it? So curious, little scary. girl. Is it kinda scary? Yeah. It's okay, it's just a spider. The big kids are writing messages on scrolls in hieroglyphics. What are you writing, Isaac? My name. Is it easier to write in English or in hieroglyphics? English, for sure. I could, it would take me a like I'm, I'm on my second word. I'd probably be done with like literally 20 by now. Yeah, what if you had to do all your schoolwork in hieroglyphics? Um, I'd faint. <laughs> You'd faint. There's Isaac's hieroglyphic name. Rolling up your scroll. Mm -hmm. I want to show it to Dad so I can give it to him. That's like, a good idea. Here's your message from Isaac. Here's your message from Isaac. From Isaac. Whoa. It looks like it says crazy bat, crazy bat, upside down hat. It's a poem. <laughs> crazy hat, crazy hat, upside down hat. <laughs> Tell me what it really says. Isaac, this is I S A A C. Very cool. I like the A's the best. Uh -huh. These were the crazy bats in the upside down hat. Uh -huh. I don't even know what to do with these. That looks like a Star Trek symbol. All right, during quiet time today, we are playing Phonics Go Fish with the three big kids and I, and we're having a good time. Elise, do you have the letter R? Yes, I do. He's got two matches. All right, it's my turn. Miss hmm. Elise, do you have a ch -ch -sh? Nope, go fish. Oh, dear. My turn. Hey, Elise, do you have a letter E? The double? Get the double E? Yes. Thank you. Here's a match. Here's his matches. I worked so hard on that. You worked so who won that game? Me. Ah, I'm so excited. Let's play again. We were having a stressful time getting the kids down and I was feeling frustrated and I went out on the back porch and there was a beautiful sunset 
And I stopped and just took some deep breaths and thought of three things I was grateful for. It's amazing how much that changed everything about how I felt. My whole body relaxed and I felt peace. I've just been thinking a lot about how gratitude is such a key to happiness of realizing the things we're grateful for. So I'd love to hear in the comments the things you're grateful for. Let us know and try that. If, if you're feeling stressed or angry or frustrated, just stop and notice things around you that you're grateful for. I noticed the sunset and I thought about that and I thought of our yard and our kids and my life and I just felt a lot better and I was able to come in and interact with my family in a positive, peaceful way. So give it a try. We love you guys. Jay House out.